What's up guys, it's your boy the Undisputed Prince right here and today I will be reacting to Serial Nations Where's Waldo A Norse Story and I'll say the rest of this video caught my attention and then when I saw Where's Waldo I was like that's a childhood fave right there like I gotta react to this I didn't watch it yet at all so yeah let's get to it hope you guys are having an unexpected anonymous day and let's get to the video after all the problems solved after all the mysteries revealed i only have one question left in my mind it was a morning like any other seven o'clock and the sun was sleeping i started the day off right with a cigarette in my mouth and breakfast in my glass Right around the time I was about to open the second bottle of the day is when things took a turn to the unusual. Three knocks on the doors of my office meant three knocks in the mystery stoop. It's open. Lucky for me, he was ready to answer my call. Uh, uh hello sir. I hear you're a man who could find people. When the client first poked his head into my office, I was struck with the thought that I'd never seen a man so broken. He shook so much that I could have sworn that his voice had cracked like a nun's vows at a cocktail party. But I needed the money and a laugh, so I decided to hear him out. Maybe I could liven up the morning. How wrong I was. Why don't you read the sign? I'm the best PI in this whole damn town. Name a name and I can sniff him out better than any hound ever could. Good. I have case I need someone of your caliber. A friend of mine went missing last week. Why don't you just talk to the police? I've got better things to do than go chasing after some nobody you can't even find his way back from the bar tonight. I can't go to the police. They're too, they're too busy chasing their own tails to help up a case like this. They haven't even filed all of their parking tickets yet. Well, that's not my problem. I'm gonna go chasing after every charity case I hear of. So if you don't have anything better to say, then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Needless to say, you have piqued my interest. This is all I have. See how fast it's yours you can help find my brother. Alright, save the sob story, chum. With cash like this, you got all the help you need. Now let's get down to business. Who is this directionally challenged friend of yours with a golden goose for a brother? His name is Wallace Lanquan. When we were growing up together, I remember he was always missing at some time or another. He was just a mess in crowded places. He would just wander away and we would spend hours looking for him. In the crowds, back then, my family would always find him. It could take a while, but he would always turn up. But, this time is different. We've been looking and, and looking, but he's nowhere to be found. It's almost like, it's intentional. Please, you've got to find him. My parents and I are worried sick. That's the thing, Jack. Some people just don't want to be found. But don't worry, I'll find him. He can't hide from me any more than he can hide from his own shadow. He's got to meet me halfway here. Are there any, like... Bars he hangs out with, any broads he knows, any other game, or any other names he goes by. No, no, nothing like that. Well, maybe. Now that you mention it, I always called him by a funny little name when we were boys. I remember when I used to call him Waldo. Something about this case smelled fishy to me. A missing person who wanted to be missing? Things just weren't adding up with this case. And what had that brother of his so spooked? He was shaking like a tuning fork, but something about his story was out of key. But with money like that, I wasn't going to ask questions, so I made my way over to my soon-to-be friend Waldo's apartment to poke around and look for clues. That's when things went from bad to worse. What are you doing with it? He was trouble from the very beginning. I let him into the family business as a sign of good faith, and what does he do? Takes pictures of the whole operation and disappear. It's only a matter of time till he takes us to the pigs, and then, and then we're all done for. Don't worry, Pa. I'm taking care of it. I get the best group of guys out there looking for old Waldo. Why? They can sniff a rat from a mile away. He can't stay hidden for too long. Well, they better find him soon. I just hope they get to him before he gets to the feds. And that's when the pieces all started to fit together like a puzzle I didn't want to solve. The man Quants were running an under-the-table operation, and a pretty successful one at that from the looks of things. Things were going well until little Wallace decided to grow conscious and bring things to the authorities. His families got wise of what he was doing, and were less than happy. 
When Wallace realized things were going south, he got scared and did what he does best, disappear. So what did his family of do-gooders do when he vanished? The same thing anyone does when someone goes missing, hire a private investigator. This was bigger than I expected, and as much as I hated to admit it, I was nearly in over my head and the water was rising quick. I had to warn Wallace before his family got to him. With my head swimming, what I needed most was a place to think, and a bench was a home away from home to a man like me. Well, you know what happens next. There was one thing I had forgot to consider. Some people just don't want to be found. Make my blood pump faster. Okay, so let me get this straight. So you telling me that Waldo is a snitch all these years in the freaking books? That's why we can't never find him? Are you freaking kidding me right now? First of all, pat on the back for that. This was a good video. Where is part two? Where is part three? Where is part four? Where, why, is this, why isn't this a series, huh? So... What I am saying is, if you don't make another one of these, I will send Max and Jax after you. Well, I'm saying Max because Jax is somewhere else being a little pussy. But, yeah. Congrats on this. I really like this. There was Serial Nation. I will have his name and link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction i mean it really wasn't nothing i just wanted to see this and i wanted you guys to see me react to it really i just had more facial emotions about it but yeah um these shirts my anonymous shirts will be coming out soon um i'm getting more and I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your anonymous and undisputed day. And I will catch you guys later.